A quick reminder, we're publishing late all this week, but we'll be back to our normal time on Monday. Thanks for the presumed patience. This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by Kova Software, makers of the Kova Point of Sales system, which powers the transactions of 20,000 retail locations spread all around the world. Maybe you've seen one of your bud tenders misread an ID or have wasted half a day managing your growing inventory with paper and pen. Whatever the hiccup is, you can't afford to lose lots of time fixing it or to be at risk of being knocked out of compliance. You don't have to worry about any of that when you graduate up to Kova software. Whether you have one store or 100, Kova has you covered and can even be deployed at shops without Wi-Fi access. Learn more about all the great things that Kova can do for your legal marijuana business by opening up kovasoftware.com slash demo to schedule a full demonstration of their system yourself. That's kovasoftware.com slash demo with Kova spelled C-O-V-A. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Thursday, May 3rd, 2018, and you're tuned in to episode 482 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shea Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. We kick off today's news with a great headline up here in my corner of the country in Maine, as state lawmakers voted yesterday to overturn the veto of Governor Paula Page of a law setting up adult use marijuana sales. We've touched on this storyline a number of times in recent weeks, as there's been some question as to whether the pro-cannabis side would be able to hold on to enough votes to overturn LePage's veto. Luckily for all of us, that question was answered yesterday when Maine state lawmakers voted 109 to 39 in the House and 28 to 6 in the Senate to override the veto. Click over to the Portland Press Herald for all the details on this one. But in short, Maine should start to see legal adult use sales taking place sometime next year. Kyle Yeager over at Marijuana Moments picked up on some news out of Canada of some possible delays to that nation's implementation of adult use cannabis widely expected to take place this year. But as Kyle is reporting, one Canadian Senate committee is proposing to add in a year-long delay to implementing adult use, and two other committees have kicked in their own suggestions for legalization that would further complicate its start. This one is super rich in detail, so I'd also open it up for the full dive in. When asked about his thoughts on the three committees' recommendations, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said, quote, legalization is not an event, it's a process, unquote. Rounding out our top stories this almost Friday is the recently completed initial public offering of Canada-based cannabis company, the Green Organic Dutchman, which sold just over 31.5 million shares on the public market for $3.65 per share, with all prices in Canadian dollars. The Green Organic Dutchman raised a gross total of $115 million. The large deal is only the latest of a series of eight-figure rounds of fundraising for the company, which claims cultivation capacity of 255,000 pounds of marijuana per year. While deals are getting bigger in legal marijuana, there still aren't that many stories with $100 million plus prices attached, so this one might be worth a click over. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out on headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Kova Software, makers of the Kova Point of Sales system. One of the things that Kova's clients value about the Kova Point of Sales system is that it seamlessly connects with platforms like Metric and Leaf, which saves you a lot of time and hassle. It's also auto-compliant, so your bud tenders don't have to worry about knocking you out of compliance, even if they wanted to. And Kova is rock-solidly reliable, with almost zero downtime and fantastic customer support, should anything ever go awry. It even keeps working when Wi-Fi goes down. Is it time for your legal marijuana dispensary to graduate to Kova? Go to kovasoftware.com slash demo to schedule a demonstration of the Kova point of sale system for yourself today. That's kovasoftware.com slash demo. And if you sign up for the Kova point of sale system by May 30th, you get free digital signage or touchscreen menus for six months. You just need to let them know you heard about them here on Marijuana Today Daily. One last time, that's kovasoftware.com slash demo. All right, time for the blitz. 
Bouncing out to Vermont, we have a state Senate committee voting to scuttle a proposed measure giving police the ability to test the saliva of roadside drivers for marijuana. Thankfully, reason won out in this issue as Vermont State Senator Richard Sears, chair of the Judiciary Committee, admitted that there is no scientifically valid way to actually measure impairment, saying, quote, the technology is not there yet. What you get may be a false positive. It may not indicate impairment. But then how does a person prove that there is a little bit of marijuana in their system, but they weren't impaired? Unquote. And exactly. The Sacramento Bee has a good story up about a proposed bill in California that would legalize the delivery of marijuana products statewide. Right now, California is chunked up in a patchwork of regulations, with some cities and towns allowing for different kinds of marijuana to be delivered, while others ban it outright. If passed, Senate Bill 1302 would give permitted delivery services the right to deliver anywhere within the state's boundaries. This is a good place for a bit of disclosure as one of our main sponsors, Ease, is a marijuana delivery service based in California. Michigan is back in the headlines again with another story about an interesting angle involving the application process required by hopeful cannabis business license holders. Today's story looks at the June 15th deadline that existing cannabis businesses face to either gain proper license or to shut down. The twist in the story is that Michigan state regulators are a little behind on processing those applications as they've been flooded by boxes of required paperwork from application teams, as I've previously talked about. This is a complicated storyline and a link best opened up in full. As always, we have all the news we cover linked to on our website at mjtodaydaily.com and on our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily. One of the things that makes marijuana different about alcohol is the number of different ways that it can be consumed, with each modality having a different effect on users. There is also the complicating factor of the number of different chemical compounds that work together when one consumes cannabis. With alcohol, there's pretty much just one, ethanol, which you drink. But with marijuana, there's tens of different cannabinoids that overlap in different ways depending on if you drink it or smoke it or eat it or wear it. It's that background that the Financial Post looks at the current and future business opportunities in Canada attached to all the different ways that you can use marijuana for effect. This story is applicable anywhere marijuana is or will be sold, so I would add it to the list of stories to read. Did you know that you can subscribe to a daily email that goes out with just the links to these top 10 stories covered on the daily? You can find that over at mjtodaydaily.com slash headlines. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney wants the state of Pennsylvania to start selling adult-use cannabis at state liquor stores to cut off the potential launch of the same in neighboring New Jersey. While speaking yesterday in an industry conference in Philadelphia, Mayor Kenney said, quote, Legalization of recreational marijuana is something the state needs to do. New Jersey is poised to do it. Our people will be driving across the bridges and buying recreational marijuana in the state of New Jersey and in the state of Delaware. Unquote. Kyle Yeager over at Marijuana Moment snags his first daily twofer with a nicely written story rounding out the different stances taken on cannabis issues by the main candidates to become the next governor of Ohio. If you're into Ohio politics, you probably want to give this one a read. And finally for today, the circle is complete as this weekend's High Times Cannabis Cup secured the very first temporary marijuana events license issued by the California Bureau of Cannabis Control. This storyline has been swimming around the top headlines for the last couple of weeks as we got the good news yesterday that the cup received approval to allow adult use sales and consumption from the Sacramento City Council, leaving just the last Bureau of Cannabis Control license to get, which they did yesterday. It's especially cool that their license got the serial number 00000001. The LA Times has the tweet where the good news was announced that also has the photo of the historic license. Safe adventures to any listeners headed to the cup this weekend. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at MJTodayDaily and visit our website at MJTodayDaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Thanks to our sponsor, Kova Software, and to all of our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at MJTodayDaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says, Become a Patron. 
I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in, starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.